So now I'm disconnecting the SATA cables. Really on there pretty snug. Okay, now I'm going to remove these Torx T10 screws that hold the drive into place. So the two T10 Torx screws are removed. Now I can just tip this up a little bit and pull the hard drive out. See? That's simple. So I have a Torx T8 tool here, and I'm removing these mounting pins. Kind of snug. So now I'm going to put those pins about the same location as on the, the old drive. This is our new solid state drive. Okay, there they're on. Nice. So now I'm going to remove the mounting bracket from the original drive. Again, this is a T8 wrench, and these are really snug. Put it on the bracket on the other one. I'm taking this padding off here, and you put it over here. So now we're ready to put the drive back into the iMac. So I put these into these holes down here, the two mounting brackets. Make sure that the SATA cables are out of the way and then we can tighten the mounting screws. Now I'm tightening up the mounting screws. Nice. So now I'm going to take the data cable here and connect it right onto the drive. So with this kit, it comes with this thing called the OWC sensor cable. And with it, we're going to connect it to the old SATA power connector here. And then the other side will go right into this connector here. Okay, so I've connected the sensor cable to the hard drive, and then there's this temperature sensor here that goes on to the hard drive. Normally this would be a spindle drive where there's a lot of heat. I'm not sure exactly what its purpose is for a solid state drive, but let's do it anyways. All right, so it all comes down to this. Hold on. So it's finally coming up. The problem that was that I was running into was I didn't have an, the original Apple ID associated with the machine um, originating user, and it made it hard to for the system to download the Mac OS X 11 or 11, <laughs> Mac OS X 10 um, Lion. So now it's doing its deal. Hopefully this will be a shorter process. So this is getting exciting. Another reboot.
I'm going to set this up. I'll be back. Getting closer. When I click this button here, I get to start using Mac OS X Lion. Here we go. This is so exciting. Uploading and restart. Now we're going to update or upgrade to El Capitan.